Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here with something a little different today. I figure I would have a culinary surprise. Um, I've been thinking about uh, doing a subscription to uh, Mountain House on Amazon. Figure I'd um, maybe get one or two delivered per month just to kind of gradually build up what I have. So I have a few of these saved, not as many as I like. This particular one is uh, macaroni and cheese. Uh, I purchased it, it looks like about five years ago because it's good until 2046. So I'm thinking it was about 2016. Uh, as you could tell, freeze dried macaroni and cheese, 13 grams of protein, one serving, which kind of surprised me because um, I noticed the price on Mountain House went up quite a bit and they changed the packaging recently to like a silver mylar looking bag. Um, but it's two servings and it's $8.94, so actually it's kind of a little bit cheaper because I think I paid about $6 for this. And uh, like I said, it's one serving. And as you can tell here, I'm just being careful because I actually have the food nice and hot in here. Uh, Best Buy, June 2046 right here. Directions are really easy if you haven't made this before. Uh, basically, open package at tear notch. Remove and discard the oxygen absorber. And uh, add two-thirds of a cup boiling water, stir and close zipper, and then uh, stir again in four minutes if you want to. Let's stand eight to nine minutes. So right now we are right about at that nine-minute mark. So I figured I would take it out and uh, kind of give it a test to see what it's like. I'd like to buy some more, but I said instead of buying more, I want to see how it is. Uh, I'm not expecting it to be a delicious meal. I'm expecting it to be okay. Um, but the thing is, I'm going to try a few of the ones I have and buy the ones that I, uh, I particularly like rather than the ones that might or might not suck. So I figured I'd try this mac and cheese, see how it is. Pretty easy. The only thing is I would make sure that when you stir it, you do stir it really well. Um, because it, you know, at first it turns into like a really, um, like a really watery cheese. And then there are some little clumps of, uh, like, powdered uh, cheese here and there. So I had to smush a couple of those up to make sure it was really, you know, mixed well. So let's open this because it's been about nine minutes. I'll take a look at how it is inside. I was going to bust out the fine china, but I figured we can uh, let me just stir this up a little bit more. I figured we can just um, kind of use this uh, pouch. and Because let's face it, if you're in the apocalypse, do you really want to do dishes? I don't think so. I also have a special guest here today. I like to call her Miss 2A, Mrs. 2A Enthusiast. So she's going to try a little bit with us. Want to say hi? Hello, everyone. If you've seen my uh, other, I did one other, let's call it a culinary review. And um, I think it was tortellini in meat sauce. She hated it. But I can't blame her. On a scale of 1 to 10, that one was like, I gave it a 2 because I guess I'm not as fussy as her. Um, I don't think she could actually um, give it a rating because it would have been negative, I think. All right, so would you like to do the honors and uh, just not, try try a little bit? Not particularly, but all right, I will. All right, what do you think? Darling, it's not cooked. It's not cooked. Okay, so I stirred this and oh stirred it goodness. and stirred it, and then I cooked it. I put it in for nine minutes in boiling hot water, just like they did. And uh, she said it is not cooked. So this is how it looks. Let's see. You know what? Nine minutes wasn't enough. It's still kind of um, kind of firm. A bit more firm, a bit more firm than I probably prefer. So. Maybe 10 or 11 minutes would have really done the trick. Just so you can kind of get a view of that. It's kind of, um, it's like a, uh, it's like a thick kind of cheese sauce. So it's okay. Not as good as what you'd expect from like Kraft mac and cheese. I was, I was kind of shooting for like just regular Kraft macaroni and cheese. But it's actually not as good as that to be honest with you. And like I said... The water I put in was boiling hot water. It was hot. Steam rising from it, but yeah, just like that's really not enough. I think maybe maybe a few more minutes in the in the bag would have done the trick. But like I said, for an emergency, it's not bad. 
Uh, cool thing about this is the bag does have a gusset, if you're not familiar with it. Can't really show you too well, but it does have a gusset over here so you can, uh, you know, stand it up. It stands up on its own. So, I mean, if you are out camping, pretty good stuff to have. Um, just sitting on a table, also pretty convenient. And like I said, I bought this for um, about $6 five years ago. And now they have two serving pouches. It looks like everything has moved to be two servings with them. And it's $8.94 at Walmart. And I believe it's about the same. It might be a few cents cheaper at, at Amazon. But they have these uh, two serving meals. Like they have macaroni and cheese, uh, beef stroganoff. I think they have like a chicken and rice um, rice one. And they have a couple of other ones like the breakfast skillet I was thinking of trying. Um, they have a biscuits and gravy that's a bit cheaper. And uh, also... Um, Trying to think what else. They have an ice cream bar, and I'm wondering kind of how that goes, because that seems like kind of a strange thing. But just wanted to kind of uh, bring this to your attention um, in case you've ever wondered what these taste like or, or look like. Uh, if I had to rate this, because I like macaroni and cheese, so if I had to rate this with like a Kraft macaroni and cheese being a five, I'd probably give this maybe a three and a half or a four. I would say for taste. It's got like a very slight tanginess to it, but I mean, it looks like legit mac and cheese. You know what? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll give it a four. Like I said, it's not as good as Kraft mac and cheese and uh, definitely not like if you go to mac and cheese, like get it uh, a nicer place. Like I used to work in an office building and they had a, a, a really nice cafeteria and they used to make it with breadcrumbs and everything. That was like a 10. It was delicious. It is not that. It's not even close to that. It's kind of close to Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, but not quite. So uh, if you're curious about it and want to pick it up, not a bad thing to pick up as long as you don't expect comfort in a, uh, excuse me, as long as you don't expect a wonderful culinary delight in the apocalypse or your power outage or your camping trip, I don't think you'll be disappointed. So just don't expect much. But on the bright side, it does stay good for at least 30 years. Um, like I said, the best buy date on this is uh is 30 years so the um the uh, the best buy was 20 june of 2046 for this one uh and i've actually heard that some of their their items that are like 40 years old they're saying that they actually do keep the taste even that long so i mean it's the kind of thing where even if it were to expire in 30 years you could probably still eat it just that the taste might not be as good but then again it might be who knows now with me, for example, 30 years from today, there's a good chance I might be dead. So, I mean, realistically, I mean, it's 30 years. So uh, it would just be like a really good insurance policy to me. So see what's good to each his own. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you later.